Hello everyone! I miss all of your smiling faces! This is the first of hopefully many give and a five videos that I hope to share with you. Um, since we've been physically distancing ourselves lately, I've been spending a lot more time with the youngest member of my family and we have been exploring our local natural areas. This includes our yard, which we're in right now, um, open green spaces, and walking around the neighborhood. Nature is everywhere! Did you know that this is the first week of spring? On the spring equinox, we actually had the same amount of daylight as we did night. And every day since then, we get a little bit more daylight each day until the summer solstice when we have the longest daylight time of the whole entire year. Now, don't waste this opportunity to get outdoors. Have you noticed things have been changing in the environment outside around you? Let's go take a walk and let's play I Spy. See if you can find some of the nature in my own backyard. All right, let's try it. I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter F. Does anybody see anything in this picture that might begin with the letter F? Fungi! Yes! This is a turkey feather fungi on this great log in my backyard. I spy with my little eye something that is green. Do you see anything that's green? That's moss. Oh, it feels so nice and soft and fluffy. I spy with my little eye something that is red. Do you see anything that's red on here? Those are buds. These will soon be leaves on the rose bush. I spy with my little eye something that is brown. It's also very round and smooth. These are worm castings. After it rains, the holes for the worms fill up with water and soil, so the worms must use their mouths to reopen all of their holes underground and come up on the surface and deposit the extra soil so that they're able to crawl underground very easily. I spy with my little eye something that begins with S. Seeds. These are seeds to the milkweed plant. The milkweed plant is the only plant monarch caterpillars are allowed to eat in order for them to grow up big and strong and turn into monarch butterflies. I spy with my little eye something that begins with a D. Does anyone see something that begins with the letter D? That's right, a dog. A dog is part of nature too. Do you see the leaf? This is an oak leaf. So I have a challenge for you. I want you to take a few minutes out of your day and look for signs of spring. Try to use at least four different senses if you can. Now, if you're a really good drawer, draw those things out. I would love to see the pictures. Or you can even do it with a camera as well. Also, maybe you're more of a poet and you want to write things down or make a list, but please share what you see, smell, hear, touch, or taste, if it's safe to do so. Now remember, when you go outside, you want to stay at least six feet away from anybody you meet other than the people who live in your household, which means six feet. How far is that? Well. You, six feet is the distance of a turkey vulture, which is pretty large, but might be difficult to have a turkey vulture stand with their wings outstretched for everyone that you meet. So, if you 
are walking outside, you want to make sure that you're unable to be able to touch that person with their arms outstretched and your arms outstretched. You have to leave that distance. All right. So here's a virtual high five. And I look forward to seeing all of your discoveries.